WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have all U.S. indices trading to the upside. <clears throat> the Nasdaq, just by a smidgen, it's up six bucks out there. But the Dow up 117 points, four tenths. The S&P six tenths or 27 points. Russell up seven tenths, 13 points. Semis up eight tenths. That's 24 points to the upside. Tranny's up 121. That's eight tenths as well. You've got gold up seven bucks, four tenths percent. Silver's up up ten cents, half a percent. Lights we crude is trading out at 103.44. That's off a buck 72. Natural gas up 55 cents. And a third of your treasury printed out at 140.08. That's up one point and five ticks. So let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini, upper left hand side. What do we know? Well, right now, price is trying to get back inside its daily profile. It would accomplish that task with a close above 41.74. It's also trying to get back inside its weekly profile. That task would be accomplished with a close above 41.89. The high today so far, 41.95. What's it mean if price gets back inside there? I would say if price closes above 41.90 today. That suggest would then suggest to move up to the next level. The next level would be 42.48. As long as spot volatility continues to fall and move towards its 50-day exponential moving average, then that's the likely outcome, the ES mini moving to those higher levels. In the case of the NQ, uh, it still maintains its buy the D point pattern. Price is inside and closed inside its profile yesterday. It's uh, still inside it today. Its next level of resistance is 13,250. Above that would be 13,699. U.S. dollar index still has a TD9 count top, but only by the hair of its chinny chin chin. And he closed above the high from the trading day of April 28th. That high is 103.95. Would negate that signal and tell us about a strong upward momentum move. Quite frankly, it's a pretty strong move, anyways. We've just had a sideways movement after that TD9 count. Gold trying to get back inside a profile. Right now, it's the weekly profile that's trying to get back inside. And what that needs is a close above by the end of the week, 1873.30. You close below that, that says uh, trouble in River City. Silver went ahead and tested its TD9 count breakout level, formed a TD9 count bottom yesterday, and price should continue to move higher. I don't know where the OUL is, the oscillator and change line right now. Uh, short of that, price might target the 24-24 level. Lights we crude, trading between support and resistance of its trend lines. Natural gas, it's got a sell the D point, but it would negate that signal. If price could close above $8.19 and a third of your treasury. It has a, uh, it's got some type of bottom out there. It certainly was a buy the D point bottom. And as long as price holds 138.14, it should go target the 142.01 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge. You're off to start your Tuesday. Have a terrific one.